People, you are in for a treat today. I don't always toot my own horn when it comes to my DIY projects, but these glass DIYs, they are not gonna disappoint you. I see these pieces all the time at Dollar Tree and I never grab them because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to paint them. But these yellow ones, honestly, you don't need to do anything for for fall. You can just shove some stuff in there, like some potpourri or some, you know, floral pieces or whatever, you know, take the idea and remix it. But I'm taking some of these potpourri pieces and I'm just sprinkling a little in the bottom of these jars. I also really appreciate the fact that the color is a little bit different once they get in there, okay? You might have to pokey poke, poke, poke them down a little bit to get them in there. And then look at this sucker. That, that looked like a dog treat to me. I was like, hmm, that looks like something Harley to eat. Now, I'll be the first person to admit I am horrible at florals and wreaths and centerpieces, all those things, okay? But I feel like I did a really good job picking things that contrasted well to pop through these yellow vases. I liked the way I could see through these. However, one I wanted to do different than two. And I had these awesome LED lights I get off Amazon. And I grabbed these because if you ever tried shoving that battery pack on the ones that you get from Dollar Tree into stuff that has small openings, yeah, it's a pain. And I love these because I can pretty much put that little battery pack in anything and conceal it. You don't even know that it's there. And yes, if you have the right battery, you can replace the batteries on these, which is another reason why I really like them. So for the third bottle, I just took some white burlap and wrapped these little fairy lights around them and then took some of this fabric that I grabbed from Dollar Tree and cut a couple strips. So we could just wrap a piece around the neck of all three bottles, tying them together, even though one was different. And I finished it off with a little button right in the center, a dovetail trim on the edges and florals in our one bottle. Who wants to make an ice cream sundae with this beautiful glass piece? Too big. We're not making no ice cream around here, but we are going to turn this into a pretty little eye-catching piece. People do not skip on Target's Bullseye Playground. I grabbed this stuff for $1 from there. Now, mind you, it's moss and messy and it should be free, but that's besides the point. This was also about the moment I realized I was going about this backwards because I wanted to put a bow on here. So I decided to take that stuff out. Use whatever ribbon you want. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed this from Dollar Tree and I thought the colors would really just pop out on this with what I wanted to put inside of our little decor piece. So I just sliced off a nice size and then got to business. Now I am horrible at bows, okay? If you came for some kind of tutorial about how to make the perfect bow around here, you got the wrong channel. I shall defer you to any other content creator <laughs> in the DIY community, but me. And truth be told, as I'm going through this process <laughs> over the last couple of years, I try to use ribbon that has like the wiry pieces on the edge. So I know once I'm done struggling to make the bow, that sucker is going to hold its shape. And even just cutting little dovetails, I can't even do that right. <laughs> so it's like take two. Now it's time to grab our pile of stuff <laughs> sit on the side and kind of spread it back in here. It actually works. I mean, if you work with the stuff, you know it works well. It just makes a mess. And then I grabbed some of this Dollar Tree. I just call this Dollar Tree mesh. I don't really, I never remember the technical term. And it's literally one of my favorite things from Dollar Tree. It comes in different colors. First, I didn't remember where I purchased it. And then when I knew I got it from Dollar Tree, I bought all the colors because there's a bunch of different little color options. I think it's just a nice filler and I like the shape of it. And I like that it doesn't have to be perfect. 
and it can fit into pretty much anything no matter how you cut it up it just adds a little something something then grab whatever you want to toss on in here and the best part about this is you can switch it up every holiday we didn't hot glue anything on here it is just a cute little decor piece that you can switch up for every single holiday and the colors out even throughout the season if you want to People, I know you see these all year long at Dollar Tree, just like I do. And I could probably do an entire video on just things to do with these. Love the frosted glass. I don't like the fact that the gold is a little messy. So we're going to fix that using some of Dixie Bell's Gilding Wax, okay? If you don't have that, another option is some rub and buff. That will also fix this. But if you have a Dixie Bell Real Gentler and you have access to this stuff, just grab some. You cannot go wrong with holding on to the gilding waxes at all. I have several different colors. And look how perfectly that just matches this. And it goes right on here. And you don't need to seal over this or anything. When you're happy with touching that up, and if you don't want to use gold, use whatever color. You know what I'm saying? DIY it however you want. I wanted to keep the gold. And then I grabbed these stickers also because, you know, they're trimmed in gold. And full disclosure, people, and I'm going to also share that with you. These stick really well. I'm not going to lie. They're really good sticking stickers. However, since our shape is kind of circular and you got to bend them, you're going to want to make sure that you seal over these immediately for them to hold their shape or they will start to pop back off. And the reason they start to pop back off is because the sticker itself is thick. It's like got some plastic in there. It feels like it probably doesn't. But you if you have these, you know what I'm talking about. They are thicker. So just seal over them to keep them against your cylinder. And because I like to share everything with y'all, you can see here about an hour after I filmed the reveal, the one side of this sticker popped off. Now, if I would have sealed that sucker on up, I would have been straight. Just because it's cheap doesn't mean it has to look cheap. And just because it's cheap doesn't mean you can't make adjustments. So that way it doesn't end up being cheap. These turned out gorgeous. I wasn't kidding when I said I had several ideas for these. And yes, these are the same ones. I just took the sticker off. Okay, give me a break. I'm here to inspire and give you ideas, not go broke in the process. Waste not what not around this joint. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Next, we're going to bring in one of Dollar Tree's rubber on transfers. That look like a piece of wood. If you're lucky enough to get a hold of these, I've literally seen them one time and I grabbed what they had. I wanted to use this as a background to create little tags, basically. So I took the top of a Mod Podge bottle and traced one on the front sharing that you can actually draw on the front of these and it's not going to affect your design or you can flip these over and do the same exact thing either way you can use both sides to trace out a design and then cut your shape if you do not want to use the whole piece on something but this way you're able to basically hold on to what you didn't use and instead of just rubbing on a section and then the transfer is completely wasted so like i said waste not want not around this joint and the rest is really straightforward you just rub 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 and then get something sharp okay because this clear stuff is definitely attached on to this you know faux wood design get something sharp and then pop off the clear piece and there you have it i wanted to add some little accents so i also had these transfers laying around and just cut a couple of gold little bits to press on the outside to just kind of make it look a little bit more like a label instead of just a little circle thrown onto our candle piece here. And look at that. It really does just kind of give it a little oomph. You know what I mean? I did the same in the opposite corner up on the side or on the opposite rounded piece because it's does it really have a corner? It's a circle. I have not been lucky enough to get a hold of Dollar Tree's fall transfers yet this season. And the ones that I did have, I put them in my decoupage kits because it's more important for me to make sure you guys at home can have access to them. If your Dollar Trees aren't carrying them, I can get them for you in my decoupage kits. So off they went. 
I'm using this one to just cut out the word fall. And then to give you another option, I was recently sent this really cute stamp kit and thought, let's put a little leaf on here. And of course, oh no, mistakes were made. So I had to gingerly find the alignment for the stamp to press it on here to try to make sure it looked like one piece. It turned out okay. It turned out okay. But the ideas are fire, people. The ideas are fire. Just make sure your lettering isn't all jacked up like mine and your stamp isn't on the half like mine and you'll be good to go. I love this little dessert cup from Dollar Tree and I always think to myself, what could we DIY this into if we flip it upside down so its booty is facing us. I'm like, let's bring in some ribbon, let's tie a little bow on here, and let's bring in one of these Dollar Tree chargers. I think this is gorgeous, and the blue on the plate also matches the blue pumpkin that is in the ribbon. So I grabbed my Gorilla Glue Gel, and I attached it to the bootay of this glass. <laughs> Let me stop with all that. I put the charger on it and then I shoved some fairy lights and a couple little fall pieces in the bottom for just a little extra added accent and I love how this turned out. For these glass tabletop decor pieces, we're going to use some of my TDS decoupage paper. And I'm just going to cut cute little pumpkins out to frame inside of these adorable little things that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. Now be careful because the glass is so flippin' fragile, people. It is so fragile. So be careful whenever you're using these pieces from Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, it is also not that easy to get these little pieces off. So I was even nervous doing this that I was going to break the glass. Typically, I like to either tear or use some water to trace around our design whenever I'm doing some sort of decoupage. But since this is going to be a very precise design, I completely cut out around the outline of our pieces. Well, I mean, I did the best I could because it was a little bit of a struggle getting around those florally bits on the pumpkin. For the medium, we're gonna be using some of the deco art decoupage in the mat. And I just flipped this tissue paper upside down and traced around the whole inside of our piece. That's another reason that this paper is so awesome. It's not as thin as a napkin to doing something like this you're not going to have a huge issue with tearing and it allows you to place it on a surface without having a ton of Mod Podge seep around the outside, leaving a bunch of smudgy marks. This idea, if you do not want to use decoupage paper, you could absolutely use a napkin, you could use stickers, you could use transfers. The idea is very remixable. Take it and do what you want with it. For those of you that are in love with the prints i promise i am restocking each month i am just waiting on the vendors to give me the merchandise and as soon as i have the prints i will always let you know when everything's back in stock We're going to need three different size and completely different pieces of glass for this next project and one that we can make look like a pumpkin. And we're going to need to use that lid. So I'm just unscrewing it and then I'm painting it a little bit of a mix of a black and a brown. And you can do what you want, but a little tip, use some chalk paint. Acrylic paint is probably going to pop right off that metal. And no people, we are not going to be painting this. Instead, we're going to grab some things to fill the jar that resemble colors of a pumpkin. So I'm just taking some orange little bits. I'm taking some potpourri and some mesh 
and I'm gonna layer it inside the jar. And layer it however you want. There was really no rhyme or reason to this madness. I just put it in spots where I feel like you could see the different colors from all angles of the jar. I also wanna do the vases completely different. So for one of them, I'm gonna use some burlap and I'm just cutting a little strip off. If you got ribbon, use that. And I'm gonna use a little piece of this nautical jute rope. If you want to use twine, by all means, I'm actually unraveling this so I can use the thinner piece. And then we're going to wrap our little piece of burlap around here. You can glue it on here. I recommend tacky glue if you want to adhere fabric onto glass. It works super well. And then we're gonna make a wonky knot. And what I mean by that is we're gonna tie it once. And then we're going to tie it again, kind of leaving a decent gap in the center. And then the extra bits on the end are kind of just going to be flailed to the side. I'm not really sure what anybody else calls them, but that's what I'm calling. I'm going to see them in the store sometime to time with their little decor piece. I'm like, I can make that. Now we're going to take this little leaf and you can take whatever you want to pop in here. But I'm going to take this little leaf and a little bit of glue and plop it right inside of our hole. I thought putting a little pearl in there, a little gem, putting a little, they even have like little mirrors. You got little floral pieces. There's all kinds of things you could pop right in the middle of this all year long to just jazz up a little decor piece in your home. But I'm, you know, it's fall themed. Okay, it's fall themed. Look, here's me adjusting my wonky edges. <laughs> but I love how that turned out. It was super simple to do. Our last one's gonna be even easier. We're just gonna need a thin little piece of twine or two, how many ever you wanna use. We're gonna tie it in a knot. And then we're going to grab us some beads and pop right on the edges. What I love about projects like this with these two glass faces is we're really just adding some easy accents. If you don't want to glue anything onto these, you don't have to. And you can interchange these out all year long to match with your decor. People now want to share a little hack with y'all. I'm not sure about your house and your floral situation, but mine, mine will look like this. <laughs> I'll have pieces cut up and they are just too short and they don't fit. And I'm like, oh, I got to buy more florals or do I? I grab a dowel and then I measure it to size inside the piece, especially if you like the floral pieces that you have and you just feel like they're going to go with whatever it is that you're creating. You can then attach them to the top of the dowel or in the center of the dowel, wherever you want take some washi tape that is the color theme that you're going to be using. So this way, when you're looking through the clear glass, it's all one color and it all makes sense. So as you can see here, the top of my florals are that like burgundy brown and my washi tape kind of matches. And then you just go all the way down your little dowel straight to the bottom with the washi tape covering up the fact that none of it actually goes together. And I've shared this in my content before that my mom used to work at a warehouse that created wreaths and floral pieces for companies like Macy's and JC Penney's back in the day. And I learned this little trick from her. So in case you haven't seen this $1 mall stuff from Target's Bullseye Playground, let me share it with you, okay? <laughs> And yeah, it is messy, but you're just going to take a little bit and stuff it on down in there. You can really use whatever you want. It kind of just hides the bottom of our dowel. Next, grab you a cork of some sort. I'm taking this little wood piece here and then two green leaves and attaching it to the back, popping out the sides. And then we're going to take our lid that is completely dry, put a little dollop on the center here of glue, whatever kind of glue you want, probably a little bit better than the hot glue that I'm just using for the video. <laughs> and I'm keeping this, this is actually my centerpiece this year. Love how this turned out. Plop that little piece right on top and we have us a little pumpkin with two accented glass pieces to go with it. Oh. 
Dollar Tree glass bowls are so meant for something more than just shoving some food in there. Like to attach them to these little plastic pieces for no real apparent reason. But really the best reason, because I had a napkin that matched it. And I was like, oh, we're going to decoupage this bowl and attach it on to the top of our little LED pillar candle. But I didn't like the color of the candle. And then I'm like, how am I going to turn the light on and off if I attach the bottom? And then there's these little pegs up here. I'm like, we're going to have to figure this out. So, of course, I used all the best practices. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you beat it with a pair of wire cutters? And then I'm like, okay, I don't need to do that because there are these little pegs inside of the candle actually holding this in place, right? So I just snip them suckers right on out of there, right? Right? No, wrong. Even after I nipped the little tip of them suckers off, it was still kind of glued in there. So one more bang. <laughs> with the wire cutters and then I can't even hold on to it. Ta-da! Yeah, mm -hmm. now it's out of there. Now what, right? Now we just put that sucker off to the side. But not before I had a small candlelight vigil for myself. I don't know what I was doing here. Okay, now down to business, right? Time to get everything glued, decoupaged up. No, no, I still spent time trying to figure this out. I'm like, the candle doesn't fit in here. What am I going to do? I want the candle to be able to go in the bottom. And I'm like, these little bits are going to stop my bowl from attaching. So we got to get rid of them little nip nips just poking out right there. So they got to go. So I took the wire cutters and just kind of pop them suckers right off to the side. So the bottom of this would be nice and flat. And we can glue this to the bottom of the bowl and use the top to put in a candle pillar or some fairy lights or whatever. Took me a minute, but I finally figured it out. You're welcome, people. You're welcome. Now look how beautifully this bowl sits on our piece here. Look at this pillar we are creating for our decoupage decor piece that no one asked us to make, but we just felt compelled to do it. Okay, we're going to take some greens we're going to mix them together and you want to definitely make sure you got a chalk paint in there because acrylic's just not going to stick to plastic that well, especially shiny plastic. And you could honestly give this a little sanding if you want. I'm taking a little sponge and just tapity tap 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 in all over this sucker. And this took three coats to get a good coverage. And no, I didn't worry about doing the inside. Now while that's drying, because I don't know about you, but I'm tired of looking at that LED piece, it is time to get to business with the decoupage. One of the easiest ways to get those sneaky layers off the top decorative layer is to just find a corner and peel a little section. It will reveal the layers underneath the top decorative layer. You could always use two pieces of tape on the end as well and pull them apart or a little bit of Mod Podge in between your pointer finger and your thumb and then bloop, 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 the edge will also get the ends off. Lots of good little tips to get them sneaky layers off, but you want to make sure you're just using the top layer of your napkin. To apply our napkin, I'm just going to use some of this Deco Art decoupage in the mat and a fan brush. And so I have a stable surface to kind of, well, not really, really stable, but you could put a piece of painter's tape on the top of your little bottle. It'll be a little bit more stable. I'm going to use this other Mod Podge bottle to flip the bowl upside down so I can put our little tears of our napkin in different sections of the bowl. I did tear the napkin off camera and I made sure to keep all the sunflowers whole. So this way, as I'm going around the bowl with the napkin sections, I can meet up with the last section that I attached and make the entire design look like one piece instead of overlapped sections of napkin, which is a little trick whenever you're decoupaging something and you want the design to just look unison. Try not to overlap the designs. Try to make it look like they connect. I'm taking a dry sponge here and I am just tapping on the top. Whenever you're doing glass, it's not very porous. So the medium will come up through the pores in your napkin and that can create bubbling. It can create wrinkling. It can create tearing. 
However, whenever you use a sponge, it actually grabs the medium that comes through the napkin. When I got to the edge of where I was applying the first section, I made sure to go over the end section with the medium and attach the ends down really well. And once they were applied, I then took a little bit of medium right over the edge of the napkin. So this way, the next napkin that I have torn up, I can meet right up on the edge and gently lay it right over the first napkin. So this way it looks like it's connected. I hope that makes sense. And this really just gives the appearance that your bowl is one full design and said a bunch of cut up little designs, but you decoupage your napkin on here however you want. And this is also really cute if you wanna use several different designs, you can make it like a patch type of design. I let this dry completely overnight and I'm just kind of sharing here with you guys so you can see how the design on our bowl is not overlapping. Like I was telling you, it's like a design versus little sections. I just really wanted to show it to you in its entirety. And I know there are a couple of little wrinkles. I wasn't going for perfect here. So anybody that's got a comment about that, you just keep your comments to yourself. I'm tearing the extras off of our top here to get those little crusty bits off. And then we're gonna take some painter's tape and create a rim around our bowl. I get asked a ton of questions about layering paints and napkins and all the things. And here we're going to layer some chalk paint around the top of our bowl to create a rimmed design. And people don't start me lying. I did pop some of that acrylic paint in there to give us the same color that we had on our LED lights. And I went slightly inside of the bowl. If you wanna cover the whole inside of the bowl, you go right ahead but I wanted lights to be able to shine through our napkin here once this was completely dry for our decorative piece. And no, I did not seal over this napkin before I applied the painter's tape. This actual application is just from the one that we did underneath the napkin. It dries super, super well. I'm going to put our finishing sealer over when we're all done. Just make sure that your napkin is on there extremely well before you go putting painter's tape over it. Otherwise that napkin's gonna peel off of anything that you're pulling the painter's tape from. I took some glossy Mod Podge to seal both of these pieces up together. And I love how this piece turned out. I love that the lights shine through our little bowl. I put some more lights, of course, in our little LED piece here. Add as much or as little as y'all want to this piece or no lights at all inside of the bowl shining through. It's just a different little decoupage idea that, you know, I just had to toss in here. <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. As always, I appreciate you so much. And until next time, people. Bye.